Hey, what's going on, guys? It's GK23 TV Network, P for Day Show. You guys see the title? Appreciate about six people requesting the legit check videos. So I'm going to do my best to go through this and try to help you guys out and make sure you guys don't get bamboozled uh, with any unauthorized or fake sneakers. Um, this video is for educational purposes only. Obviously, I don't have a fake pair, so I can't do that because I don't really mess with fake pairs okay once again for educational purposes only by no means do we do i condone advertise selling something that's unauthorized fake as something that is not or fake sneakers okay um <clears throat> we're going to get into detail as far as what to look for if you're trying to purchase the jordan band slash bread 2016s aftermarket meaning you weren't able to get them when they released so you might be on ebay or certain areas looking here's what you want to look for and i'm very 80 to did it, did it with it so i'll get uh, to the major things that you can look for that can really tell all the way down to the minor details all right so before we get started shout out to all you guys peace love blessings make sure to subscribe make sure to hit the like button Make sure to hit the video. If this is the first video you tuned into, make sure you sub up if you're real. If not, it's all good. And hit the bell icon right down there. That way you get notified anytime we drop any content. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to start with the with the shoes first. The 2016 Air Jordan 1's High OG Band slash Bread 2016's. First thing we're going to... um start with is the laces the laces come in the bag like this they're very neatly you know put together and in the you know most of the time proper bag no nike no nothing on it okay the fakes will come and the bigger, looser bag, like the Vachetta laces come in, okay? The laces. We're going to start with the insole real quick to get this one out the way. On the insole, once again, there's not much you want to look for, but there are things you can look for. On the Chinese branding, you see the arrow right there? Okay, the arrow is pushed out. On the fakes, it's indented in, the other way around. The arrow. Right there, it's pushed out popped out on the fakes it's indented in but it is just the insert it is cardboard what you want to look for as far as the back of the shoes is the shape on the fakes you're going to get just more of a straight situation okay on the real joints as you can see you're going to have this go in and then kind of flare up because of the stitching and the fit for a basketball shoe and things of that nature along with all the stitching throughout the sneakers um that the fakes will be different let's touch on the swoosh so we can get the swoosh out of the way the cut on the swoosh Okay, now the stitching is going to come like this, and it's going to cut down through the swoosh, as you're looking at right there. You're going to have a little bit of space, extra, I'm talking about that. You're going to have about, about two stitches, three stitches, 
maybe on a size 13 or something it's a little more but that's about it on the fakes it's gonna be higher you're gonna have like four or five stitches and the slant is gonna not be so perfectly lined up how, how everything kind of is lined up the same it'll be more kind of down now these are tumbled leather so the swish is well everything on this shoe is you know it's kind of like a raw cut as well but it's very detailed it's it's done well on the cut on the stitching even the lace the holes on the laces and see how it's it's still like a raw cut up there but it's everything is neat and done well and then on the leather you do have the little wrinkles little gripes and then on the fakes you'll def definitely be able to tell the difference from the synthetic okay oh yeah let's get this right out the way the shoes come laced like this like that not like some other ones where we'll take this lace right here and go up here and up here and tie it like your Chicago 2015 joints so the fakes will be laced like that from what I seen also when you get your joints right dead stock whatever the front lace right there right that's laced up doesn't cover the stitching right there it the the lace is right below that stitching you, you see what I'm talking about Now, I have this pulled out and things like that ready, so it's going to be hard, but again, the lace is below the stitching. The fakes, this, this lace right here that's laced will be covering those stitches right there. Good quality on the tumble leather on these. It's going to be hard, like if you don't have both of them or, you know, in photos and in person, but the bottom is blood red. On the fakes, it's a little lighter. Okay. On the fakes, the stars are bigger. very minute things but you can help it if you ask photos and look for photos once again the bottom is a is blood red compared to the fake the fake is going to be more reddish reddish lighter different color again the back you're going to have peaks on the fake little points because they're not cut right. You understand? See how it's cut? And see how it's raw? When I say raw, I mean like this is leather. Real leather is tumbled leather. And see how you see a little bit of leather? But you see how everything is perfectly cut per se? How the stitching is see this how it's raw but see how it's done
perfect, pretty much, the best word I can use. The swoosh on the fake should be, from what I've seen, bigger. Once again, this is done very well as far as the stitching goes. But it's tumbled, it's raw. But on the fakes you'll see the crazy differences. Toe box, the toe gap I mean will be a lot bulkier. You kind of see the perfection. As far as how it's stitched. The perforation holes on the fakes. Look at a snapshot of this and compare them. They're lined up different. They're not the same size. There's the lace I was talking about. The face will be covering the stitching right there before the tongue starts. On the real ones, the lace is laced and you can see the stitching. The lace is right below the double stitch on the red ending of the toe box. Okay. Let's do the insole real quick. Okay, the insole as you can see, hold on, it's white, The Nike Air on the insole is more of a liver red. See it? How I would say the blood red bottom. The Nike Air is more of a live red. And the insole is white. White. The other side is blue. You see the patterns of the glue? How they go like this? All right, on the fakes, most likely they're gonna go straight. And they're gonna have a yellowish tint because it's a different type of glue. So it'd be more yellowish. And since the outsole is blue, I mean the, the insole on the other side is blue on the fakes, your insole, when you flip it over this way, it's not going to be white. This is straight white. It's going to be like a creamish with a bluish tint that's coming through because the blue from the other side with the glue that they use is kind of coming through and it gives this... It's just not white like this. This is white. Just white. The Nike Air is a live, live or red. On the fakes, it'll be not white. So if you know what the color white is and whatever other colors, close to white, creamish white, white with a bluish tint, whatever it is, if, if it's not white, it's white. Not white with the tint, not white with this, it's white. So it can make that easy. The other side, ask for photos. If it doesn't look like this, it's probably not real. The glue is yellowish. The lines are straight. There's not as many. It's probably like three here, four in the middle, and that's about it. Get that out the way. <clears throat> the tongue. The Nike Air. 
pretty much cut stitch right there with no extra room on the fakes you're, pro you're probably gonna have I don't know probably five to eight millimeters extra after the air of black area it's not perfect like that okay you want to look at the stitching right here. See how it's pretty much flush, cut, perfect. On the fakes, it's going to be janky and sloppy. Also, see the lettering? Now, this might not be a big thing, but on the fakes, it's a lot smaller. The Made in China, Fabrique in China, all the letters up there, they're a lot smaller. smaller. The tag on the inside. First, let's do this. You have your size. The year, 1018, right? 10 and a half. 84, 10, 18, the date. This, you can feel rubbing your finger on it. It's not like lasered into the black on the fakes. You either won't be able to feel it at all, meaning it's all one part, like one laser print. It'll be a lot rougher. And if you look at the date, like the 841... 8x it's going up lined up to that stitch line basically see what see what i'm saying see how it goes up on the fakes you're pretty much going to have it like this in other words on the fakes it's going to be kind of just laid straight more instead of how, how it's lined up with that line Let's do the tag real quick. There's the tag. The manufacturing date um, is April 12, 16. And then you'll have uh, May 30th, 16, 530, 16. But it could be 502, 520, it could be 506. But just make sure that the manufacturing date is 4-12-16, April 12, 2016. And 5 30, 2016. May 2016 on the on the other one. It could be 20, it could be 6, etc. Take a look at the inside, because it's not going to be as neat. I don't want to spend too much time on that on the inside on the fakes the leather up here number one is going to be synthetic and it's going to be a lot longer than this maybe around like that once again you're not going to have this Feel uh, out. It's more going to be just one piece. The tongue is padded. On the fakes, they're probably extra padded. Again, the lace right under the stitching. Not covering it so you can't see it. Easy giveaway. No peaks, of course. No little points. The cuts are perfect. Still raw where the tumble is, but perfect. You're not going to have any peaks, any points around there. Around here. You'll definitely catch them right here, right here, where they cut the leather flaw. You dig? This again. It'll give you about two stitches. One stitch, two stitch. Fakes is going to be up around there. 
it's just going to be higher. It's gonna, you're going to have 3, 4. See the tumble? On the fake, it's not going to be like this. It'll look more like a snakeskin print. And once again, see this is raw. But it's still Jordan Nike cut flawless. Look for this synthetic on this real leather. See the little gripes? Okay, so the laces. They don't come laced through here, through here, like the other other Jordans that we might see. Just the front and the laces are inside. That shoots up. The tag, this right here, the holes in the front, the toe cap. It'll be it'll be weirded out. It won't be flawless. That right there. The midsole is usually um, smaller, and it's usually a different tone. Like I said, the bottom bottom blood red. On the fakes, it'll be more liver. The stars, bigger on the fakes. On the inside, do we have anything? Um, no, just look for those things. <clears throat> Let's see with the light. Once again, I want to make sure... white not any other color whitish white no yellow glue on the box on the inside you have the QC stamp in red of course you're not gonna have any stickers or anything that say QC or anything like like, like that like the fakes the switch sign excuse me on the fakes, it will be smaller. The actual swoosh. It's a little dented, but... It'll be smaller, higher, lower, things of that nature. There's no QC stamp, no QC stickers. It doesn't come with any... Uh, Retro card like you purchased it in Europe or anything like that The box um, You'll see the color variations like the, the, the black and the red will be more bloody ish versus this box um, On the inside of the box The cardboard um, Kind of see the lines on card, real cardboard. The paper is like a white, and then like a, it's like a, on the fakes it'll be just like newspaper, newspaper, pretty cheap. On the real ones, it's like one side is just flat, and the other one's that silky pastry type of tonish. Um, this right here, um, to look for. Stripes are trademarked, the swoosh. It'll be smaller. The 1995 Air Jordan 1, the font, it's a little different. The Nike and the swoosh on the back, on the fakes, it's a little different. And I'll show you how. Let me put the lid on it and I'll show you. Let's see if you guys can see it. Alright, hold on. See how when I have the lid on, you see the Nike, the swoosh, and we have space up here, still black space. And I would have to put the box where I can't put it for you guys to see it, but you guys get the idea. You see the space black right there? All right, so on the fakes, I'll do it so kind of mimic it. On the fakes, that top lid kind of just, kind of just hits right on top. 
of the Nike. Not leaving any space. Like, see, it's shut. But we have space from where the top of the lid hits to where the Nike starts. We have space in black. And it's a little more than it looks right there because the camera is angled down and I'm holding this straight. And I can't put the box up this way right now. But look for that, the top of the lid to be right, to have no space, to see no black, to go from the lid to the red, to the night, as far as the box. <clears throat> as far as the tag, if you guys want to see the tag, there's the tag. Don't want to focus too much on a lot of the little things like I did, but most just the obvious things to just right off the gate go for. What are they? The quality of the leather. The quality of how the shoe's manufactured. Meaning all the cuts, all the stitching. The tumbled leather, it's real tumbled leather. This grinded flat type of leather, real leather, not synthetic. You understand? It's raw because we're dealing with tumbled and leather, good quality, band 16s, etc. But everything is cut perfect. Even though, I don't want to say perfect because it's not perfect. But compared to the fakes, you'll see the fuzziness. You'll see the stitching not be flawless. You'll see the cuts not be flawless. Remember this. The swoosh is bigger on the fakes. The toe box, toe cap. Once again, remember all that. Any peaks around there. Back here, back here. Maybe down here. Maybe up here. If this doesn't have this shape, not a good look. This will be longer. This padded leather up here, which on the fakes is not leather anyways. They'll be taller and higher. Holes on the laces, the tongue. Nike swoosh, air, boom, it cuts. Right on the stitching. Next to the next stitching, boom, we're good. On the inside, look at the stitching. It's flush stitched, no sloppy. No sloppiness, you dig? No sloppiness. This font, again, it will be smaller on the fakes. It won't be as defined. The stitching. That. You can see the angle. It shoots up. You can see that it's on the stitch. On that stitch. It's basically hitting this way. On the inside. See what I'm saying? When it says your size, the year. Boom. Up. Shroom. The fakes is going to be more, it's going to be straighter, just thrown on there. You can feel this if you put your hand on it. On the fakes, you either will really be able to feel it or you won't. It'll just be printed into the black. But once again, if you just look at how it's angled, you'll be okay. The Jordan symbol. Remember the cuts. Remember simple things the perforation holes no peaks how the shoe should come laced unless somebody wanted to lace them differently I have done that before shrink wrap my shoes and you know but once again no peaks no points clean perforation holes this is what they look like the lace on the front it's right underneath the stitching where you can see the stitching on the red, on the fakes, the lace will be right over that. You won't be able to see that. Like that, or like that. However you put it, it's right below the stitching. On the fakes, it'll, you won't be able to see it. I can't even make, make it do it. You feel me? And so is white. The Nike Air is live. Not blood red like the bottoms. The insole... These are little things, but 
These are little things they miss. The arrow right there is popped out. I mean, it's coming this way. On the fakes, it's indented in. Burnt in. Kind of how the Jordan is embossed in. Okay, that's how it'll be on the fakes on the shoe tree. On the real one, it's popped out. How they come laced. The lace below the stitching, the toe cap, toe box, perforation holes, no peaks, no raggedy cuts. You understand? The stars are bigger on the fakes. The bottom is a liver red. This is blood red, or what I would call it. This, that's how it cuts. Not higher up here. That's what it'll be like. And this is more just perfect down with just, it just goes. You'll notice the difference. On a size 13 or something, you might have an extra stitch, but we're talking about all around the same propor proportion symmetrically. The fakes are just going to be higher. It's going to be different. It's going to look like... I don't want to mention any models because I don't know for sure. But <clears throat> maybe like the Chicago ones, if I'm not mistaken, they're a little higher. The black and white OG highs, maybe a little higher. These are how the band slash bread 16, the stitching will be. Tumble leather, the cuts, no, no raggediness. Cuts are done perfect, well. The stitching is flawless. Once again, not perfect like that because it is raw, it is tumbled. But you, if you guys look at fakes, look, you guys will see what I'm talking about. This, again, the back, very important, always easy way to tell because this is. You know, an ankle support right here, and it's stitched down this way, so it makes it tight and then up. Leather padded about down to like here. On the face, it's probably extra padded. The tongue is padded, it's nice. The face will be extra padded. Nothing you might do on a video or photos, but you can ask. Attention to detail once again, just simple things. This, again, Come lace with just the front, everything inside. The two extra laces. Red, white. This is how they come. Not big. And the other bag will be square. They're not going to be the same tied up. Um, I forgot which side of the shoe they come on because I took them out. I'm not sure. Whichever side they're supposed to come out. Little thing is in the box. Look for that. What else on the shoe? I think that's all. Toe box. The, any type of peaks. Once again, you guys can pause the toe box with the perforation holes and things of that nature. The swoosh, the inside, the tag as far as the date, April. Um, the tumbled leather, you can tell tumbled leather from like a fake, like snake printing looking thing. The real leather on the black versus like the synthetic that they use. It won't be as clean stitched, but I don't want to get into that too much because who knows. Oh, the, the box, the laces. Oh yeah, one more thing. The fakes will come with one of these. Probably, most likely a white one. The real ones don't. Here are the real ones. They don't come with this extra top shoe tree that I took out from these right here. And this is your SGK23 TV. Legit check. Help you guys out in any way I can.
once again, for educa educational purposes, if you guys are looking after market, eBay, resellers, anybody, it's real easy to get, you know, got some things to look for. Blam, 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 Nike Air, blam. 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 White. Liver red. Nike Air. Blue. Stripes going like this with the glue. Not yellow. On the fakes, the blue kind of comes through, so it's not white. Laces, showed you the box. Everything. Legit check for the band. Bread 16, Jordan 1 High OGs. Once again, just quality, just cut, just stitching. Simple things you can tell, but for you guys that really are not too savvy like that, I mentioned everything. I don't want to keep repeating and repeating, but a lot of times it seems like I have to repeat. You guys don't get things. DMs and Instagrams and Twitters, legit checks, and it's already there. Cut, leather, stitching, the swoosh, the tag, the inside with the date, band, the size, any type of peaks, no, no, the back, the size, the height, how it stitched up and goes up, the leather, the holes. There you have it, guys. SGK23 TV Network. He for Day Show. Jordan 1 Band. Slash Breads. 2016 Legit Check Review. Simple. Look at how they're laced and they come. And the lace is right below the red stitching. If that lace is covering the stitching, you can't see it. It's fake. Because none of them. Size 13, 16, 8 and a half. I'm giving you guys information that's been validated. All right, be easy. Catch me on the next one.